Hi, my name is Stelios. I'm one of the co-founders of Forex Analytics, and I want to welcome you to this Forex Analytics platform tutorial. This is a short video guide to help you get acquainted with our platform and to get familiar with how each part works. The Forex Analytics platform is currently comprised of three main areas. The top left section, which we call the traffic light area, the bottom left section, which we call the analysis area, and the section on the right, which incorporates a number of useful tools. Let's start with the traffic light area, which displays a summary of all the information for the instruments that we cover. The first tab is the active tickers area. This area displays a one-line summary for each ticker that you wish to actively monitor. Information items include the following. The last updated column that displays a timestamp and the type of analysis that was last updated for this ticker. We have the ticker column where the ticker name with the current quote below and the change on the day above it are displayed. There is the Forex Analytics Bias column where the overall short-term and long-term biases are algorithmically calculated, taking into account each and every type of analysis we provide for a ticker and displaying a color-coded arrow that can point as follows. Uh, vertically up, indicating a very bullish bias. Diagonally up, indicating a bullish bias. Sideways, indicating a neutral bias. Diagonally down, indicating a bearish bias. And finally, vertically down, indicating a very bearish bias. Next are the individual analysis tab biases where only the short-term biases of each type of analysis are displayed using a color code. Green for bullish, orange for neutral, and red for bearish. Then we have the key levels, specifically three levels of support, three levels of resistance, and the bull bear line, which is a technical level that changes the behavior of the ticker from bullish to bearish, or vice versa, if breached. Finally, on the right end of this section, you will find two icons, a square one with a double arrow on it and the round one with an X on it. The double arrow icon is used to change the order of the tickers in this area. To do so, just click on this icon and keep the mouse button pressed. While the mouse button is still pressed, you can move the ticker upwards or downwards until it occupies the desired area. The X icon is used to move a ticker from the active tickers to the inactive tickers area. When you click on this icon, the ticker will disappear from active tickers and will appear in the inactive tickers area. The ticker can be moved back to the active tickers area using a very similar process from within the inactive tickers area. Please note that all bias icons, stickers and tab names on the traffic light page are clickable links that load the relevant ticker analysis in the bottom left part of the screen. Second uh, in tab order is the inactive tickers section. This is a one-line summary for each ticker that you do not wish to actively monitor. The information items available are the same as for the active tickers area just described. Third in order is the active patterns in play section. These are the patterns in plays that have been identified by Forex Analytics staff. Information items include the ticker name, the analysis type from which the pattern in play was generated, the pattern description, which is usually its popular name, the theoretical entry, target, and invalidation levels, and finally, the direction, bullish or bearish. One thing worth mentioning is that below the listed ticker, you can find the market quote, as you would in active tickers, but above it, instead of displaying the change on the day, the platform displays the percent change from the midpoint of the theoretical entry area. Fourth in order, is the closed pattern in play section. This section keeps a record of the patterns in play which have been previously listed in the active patterns in play section, but which are no longer active, either before the target or invalidation level was hit or because they were manually closed by the system administrators. Closed patterns in play are listed in a similar way with the active uh, patterns in play, with one difference that the last column does not display the direction, but it displays the pattern in play outcome and the level at which the pattern was closed instead. 
target hit if successful, invalidated if unsuccessful, or closed if closed by the system administrators before it reached its target or invalidation levels. The text color, green or red, indicates if the pattern in play closed with a theoretical positive or negative outcome. At the bottom left of the closed pattern in play section is a small area with pagination buttons that help you navigate across previous entries. The last tab in the section is the rates area. Here you can find all the instruments that we cover together with their current prices, change on the day, and high and low. This area is a great place to view all the instruments at a glance. The area at the bottom left of the page is called the analysis area. Here you will find all the various analysis types for each instrument, which will include text and charts. At the top left of this area, you will find a quick summary for the current selected instrument. You can use the drop-down box to select the ticker, and the area will instantly change to reflect this selection. Next to the ticker symbol, you will find its current live quote, as well as its short-term and long-term biases. The five tabs at the top can be used to switch from one analysis type to another. Macro, candlestick, basic technical, harmonics, and Elliott waves. As you select a particular analysis type, the text below will update and one or more associated charts will be displayed. You can switch between charts by clicking on the titles. Please note that each chart's title is a time frame of that particular chart. Also, you will notice that some words within the analysis are colored in red. These are keywords which, if clicked, will transport you to the Forex Analytics Education page and display helpful information associated to that keyword. On the right side of this section, you will find the takeaways area. This is effectively an executive summary for the current instrument. The text within this section summarizes information from all five analysis methods and the color of the header reflects the overall Forex Analytics bias for the instrument. In between the three main areas of the Forex Analytics platform, you will see small blue arrow icons. These icons can be used to increase or decrease the size of each section in order to make it more readable. For example, you can have the whole left side of the platform to display the traffic light area, like so, or you can expand the analysis section higher if you wish to be able to see more analysis on the screen. Finally, we move to the area on the right, which holds a number of interesting tools. The first tab is the newsfeed area. Here you will find the live streaming area with information coming from the Live Squawk news service. This is a scrolling list of news items including major headlines, economic data, and also some clickable items which expand to display more information. There is a timestamp next to each item, and the more important items are color-coded to make them stand out from the rest. The next tab is the live stream area. Here we will find a live streaming area with information coming from a number of different sources. You can select or deselect to display streaming updates of updates, alerts, and Forex Analytics comments using the toggles provided. Most of the items are clickable, and if clicked, the appropriate analysis will be displayed on the bottom left side of the screen. The next tab is the calendar. Here you will find an embedded economic calendar provided by investing.com, which can be customized by clicking the filters button at the top. As economic data is released, you will see the various calendar items get populated. At the top left of this section, you will also see a button labeled Open Data Flash. When clicked, this will open a pop-up window with a data flash service. This is a very useful product that Forex Analytics provide for free to their clients. It displays super fast economic data releases and it also has a score capability for audio. The next tab is the built-in Twitter feed. This feed can be modified via the settings page, which we will review later on in this video, in order to create your own customized Twitter stream. The next tab is the useful links area. The Forex Analytics team will often select some links that they find interesting and useful for members. 
These will be displayed here and if clicked they will transport you to the relevant article. The final tab in this section is the Extra Tools area. In here you will find a risk management calculator, a very useful tool that can be used to calculate trade risk reward ratio and potential profit and loss. Below that is a simple market trading hours tool which visually shows when the major equity markets are open and closed. This whole section of the right side of the Forex Analytics platform can be collapsed or expanded using the small blue button with the arrow symbol. At the bottom of the page you will find a series of quick links which will transport you to the various parts of the site. One of these links is the page guide link which describes what each part of the page does and it's a very useful reference when getting familiarized with the Forex Analytics platform. At the bottom right corner of the page you will find the customer chat icon. If you click this you will be able to start a conversation with Forex Analytics support staff who are here to help with any questions you might have. At the top right of the screen you will see your avatar image and next to that is a chat room icon. If you click this button a new tab will open on your web browser and you will be logged into the members only Forex Analytics chat room. The chat room is a great place to interact with Forex Analytics team members as well as other subscribers and exchange market views. To the right of the chat room icon is the bell notification icon which displays important alerts and information items when they appear. The final and particularly important section of the Forex Analytics platform is the settings menu. The settings page enables the user to specify his or her personal preferences for the site and it can be accessed by clicking the settings wheel at the top right of the screen and then selecting settings.